Okay, so earlier while working on this project, I actually completely messed it up. And instead of taking time to try to fix it, I just recreated it because it seemed a lot simpler. We um, only got to the point where we created the page view controller and those transitions. So I saw no point to really spend a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what I did wrong. So instead, I have a link down below that um, to the Git repository where you can start off exactly where I'm starting off today. Now, what we're doing today is we're actually going to create the sign in. Okay. So I am going to go into my storyboard. And what I need to do is create a view controller. What we're going to do first is we're just going to work on the sign up. Now, this is going to be using Firebase on the back end for authentication. Um, I've turned on email uh, authentication in Firebase. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me just create some titles, sign up. Let me create a storyboard reference. Now, let's just go ahead and hurry up and put in the UI elements. Okay, now that we have our login or sign up page a set. What we need to do is we need to create a class that's going to handle this. So I'm create file, Coco touch. We're going to create the view controller class for sign up. Okay. I'm going to create that. And what we're going to do is go back to our storyboard and we're just going to assign that to uh, this view controller. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. Let's do automatic. And this is going to put us here. I don't need any of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so the first things first is we are going to need to get Axe Want uh, Outlet. Let's go ahead and import Firebase. Almost forgot to do that. And let's go ahead and... I don't want the password before it, so let's just do that. And we're going to do password. One of the things I want to do is create a function to sign in. Sign up, I mean. Right? And then we're going to create the action for this button. And we're just going to make sure we do action. Sign up button action okay so here one of the things is we want to make sure we have import firebase and app configure and you follow the previous video to set that up if you know how to set up firebase already you're good to go you should be good to go 
Um, if not, you can watch that video where I go through how to set it up. But I'm gonna assume that you know you've gotten to that point already, and we're going to just continue. So after that, we want to go ahead and build out this function to um, do a sign up. Another thing we're gonna want to do really fast is just put a profile, like a setup profile function and we'll handle this later create user profile so the idea behind this is that when someone signs up we want to create their profile it's going to be a uh, minimal profile kind of when you log into or sign up for Instagram you get a chance to um, modify your profile because one is being created for you so we're going to handle the authentication completely separate though Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper into the sign up function. Now, what we're doing here is we set up a function called sign up. And in that function, what we're doing is we're calling on Firebase to create the user. Now, what we've actually set up here is we have within our sign up VC, we have an email. We have an email here. We also have a password. So when the user enters their email into this email field um, and their password into this password field and then selects this button what we're doing in our program by creating the action on this button is we're calling this program, um, not this program, I'm sorry, this method sign up. What sign up takes is a parameter. So in order for sign up, uh, the create user to actually create you create a user is it wants an email address and a password. So, we're actually passing that to the function. So here we're giving it the text that we type in here. And in this instance, we're giving it the password. So then the second part is basically once that is done, give me back the user that was created or the error that occurred. So errors can occur because we've already created a user that has that same, the same credentials of email text and password text. And we really need to be able to handle that. So in this part of the code, what we're saying is that if we have an error, this variable here, because this is where the method is storing, is going to store an error if it occurs. So if error is equal to nil, so that's basically, basically saying if, I'm sorry, if error is not equal to nil, um, then we want to know what the error is. In this situation, once we actually go through and polish this, we'll want to display to the user what the error is but just for simplicity's sake we're just trying to get through this and and build a working function so a, a working application rather so the print error is just for us at this point to say hey this is the error you've already used this email address and password or you already used this so you need to think of something else by supplying a unique email address as well as password um and I believe it's just email address. So if we supplied a unique email address, um, then we wouldn't even have to worry about this. So let's say we, we supplied 
a proper email address, we don't even have to worry about this, all right? So the ideal is that we've done that. And what we're doing here is in our storyboard, so we have a storyboard here, you have to apologize. I have to apologize. I'm actually writing with a mouse. We have a page view controller that we set up, and the page view controller handles the application's view. So if we're looking at the camera, if we're looking at the messages, or if we're looking at the actual application, and we set that up in last in the last video, um, what it's doing is saying let's create a connection to this by calling it by creating a variable a, a constant variable to it and this is now called home pvc or home page view controller so now that we create we establish the connection to that by using its controller class what we want to do is say that once we we create a user, we want to have them go directly here, which is going to show us the application view upon login. And then you go and you can slide back and forth between the different views. So from our sign up, and I have to, like I said, I have to apologize. I will be getting some proper equipment to actually do these and make it look really good. From the sign up, if we're all good, so if everything goes as expected, let's just create uh, the screen. So if everything goes as expected, we'll go here, right? Um, the ideal is that if everything doesn't go as expected, uh, we'll stay here with a warning. So say it doesn't work out, we'll stay here, right? We'll just come back here and say, hey, you know, this didn't work out. Display some message, um, have them enter another one. And once they do and it works out, we'll go to our home view fire our sign up oops sign up okay and another thing since I'm in here again let me go ahead and just we want the password to not show as clear text so we're just going to go into the properties and select secure text entry so let's try that again okay so that was successful and we're just going to go ahead and open this. So we're going to do that again. We're going to say mean bean at test.com password is our password. Okay, so that looks like it's working. Um, next, we're going to create the login which that will actually be the initial view controller with the option to go to the sign up page. If you are already logged in, you will go straight to the application. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, comment below.